Well, welcome to Arizona where it's hotter than hell. <laughs> That's right. We're in July. It's only probably going to be about 110. It's almost noontime right now, but it's going to be another warm day. But anyway, my name is Jack. Welcome. I appreciate you guys all uh, tuning in. If you guys are already a subscriber, thank you. If you're not, I hope I can earn your subscription. I like to prospect. I like to gold prospect. I like to treasure hunt. I like to metal detect. I'm just getting into more of the metal detecting end of it for the treasures, but I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Just being in the great outdoors is a whole lot of fun. I enjoy that. Uh, I enjoy going out looking for gold and everything. But today, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to talk about mercury. You hear the old timers, they used to play with mercury all the time. Uh, but anyway, that's what we're going to do today is talk about mercury. This here is a mercury flask. This is full of mercury and it is heavy. A few of us was guessing what the uh, weight of this would be. So I'm going to put it there on that scale and we'll see how heavy this thing is. This thing really is heavy. 50 pounds. That's 50 pounds of mercury right there. There's some of your old mercury flask. You know, they come with little ceramic mercuries and they had corks on top of them. These are, of course, empty. Mercury comes in all different types. This here's uh, what they used to use in dental offices. Mercury, yes, a lot of you still have amalgam in your teeth. These are all just bottles, little jars of mercury. All of this. Mercury, mercury, mercury. Mercury's been around for a very long time. The old timers would do is they would line their sluice boxes with mercury. So as the gold comes over, it's just gonna to stick to that in the mercury. That's why sometimes they find a lot of mercury inside your rivers and your streams. It's because it got lost out of the sluice boxes from the old timers. They weren't always that great. You know, mercury is a natural uh, in the environment, comes from cinnabar. So it's natural, you can find it in the streams and the rivers. And uh, so it wasn't just the old timers that threw all that mercury away. It does naturally just occur in the rivers and the streams. And you know the dredgers and the people that are out there in those rivers and streams, you know what they're doing? They're picking up all that mercury and all the lead sinkers that all the fishermen and everybody else just lose over time. So the dredgers actually, they do a lot of great good for the environment by picking up all that garbage and junk and nails and lead and sinkers and, and crap and all the mercury that old timers lost and plus that's in there naturally. So yes, dredgers do great for the environment. Plus they uh, create spawning pools and where the fish, if you've ever been out and saw a dredger and they're dredging up these big holes, all of a sudden all these fish just seem to gravitate to those uh, holes because they're aerating new food and new material. So yes, dredges do do a lot of good. But anyways, we're talking about mercury. Prospect, and you get all your gold, your fine gold. You can pan out most of it, but all the finer gold you can't pan out. What do you do with it? There's different methods of equipment you can tediously pan out, get that fine gold out of there. Some people use a rock tumbler. You know, they'll put the, uh, your black sands with the gold inside of a rock tumbler with some uh, stainless steel balls and a little bit of mercury and they'll rotate it, crush that black sands, they'll get all that gold will adhere to that mercury. Gold sticks to mercury or mercury sticks to gold, ever how the saying goes. Uh, anyways, you know what I should warn you about? I am not a scientist, so anything you may see me do is me doing it. So. Don't go out and copy what I do and then blame anything onto me. So use your own judgment. I'm just telling you what I do, what I have done. But like I said, I'm not a scientist. I'm not an expert. I just know what I like to do. So one thing I've done is like I'll, I'll sniff all of this up inside of a sniffer bottle. You can see the mercury inside the sniffer bottle right there. So any gold that goes in there will stick that mercury will suck that right up. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about with this mercury and how uh, how it's done. There's some amalgam in there too. So that other piece right there, that's gold. Once it's all uh, kind of hardened, it becomes amalgam. Quicksilver, they call it. Yes, ooh. You know, they use this stuff in 
they used to use it in thermometers and they used it in uh, in your uh, your uh, gauge or your uh, thermostats they used it mercury was used in a lot of stuff and yes it was used in your teeth as well what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you this little bit of gold that's right here I'm gonna put a drop of mercury in here and I'll show you what happens to the gold the little dinky BBs that you see right there that's mercury right there okay now here's what happens let me switch hands here okay. when it's all panned together the gold will disappear into that mercury it works better when you have water Let me add some water to that. Yeah, that's pretty well, might be a, that's amalgam right there. So that's, that gold is all stuck to that. It only suck up so much, and then once it sucks up, it can't suck up anymore. So if I want to get any more out of there, I got to add a couple more drips of mercury in there. And all that gold is pretty well gone. It's all sucked up into that mercury ball right there. All right there. Now, how do I get my gold? That is a good question. You should always be playing with mercury outside. Chemicals should always be done outside. Don't do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> yeah. All right, once you got your amalgam, this isn't a lot, but you know, if you get a whole big ball of it where it starts to really grow, I mean, you're getting big old fat amounts of amalgam. Some people may put it like in a pan uh, and then burn it off, which is illegal. Some people may use a potato method. So what you would do is you would cut this potato in half. You would take a spoon and just hollow out one half of it. And then put the amalgam in there and then take some wire and wrap that all back together again. Put that in a campfire, heat that up. And what'll happen is the mercury will evaporate into the potato. And then when you take it all back out, you'll just have your gold. And then you can smash up the potato and get your mercury back or give it to one of your best friends. No, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Okay, so you could also use a retort. These work pretty good. And the way a retort basically will work is you put your amalgam inside right here. This is a cap, we'll put it in there. You heat this up. You fill this full of uh, antifreeze. This is all breaking apart. This here is all coming apart. You fill this full of antifreeze, and then the bottom down here, put like a beaker or something down there to catch it. So what'll happen is the mercury will turn into vapors, and it will go through here vapors. It'll hit the cooling chamber, and it'll cool back down again, back to a liquid, and will come back. So you can actually get your mercury back by using a retort. There's other methods. This here is a uh, mercury press. So with this work, you put your amalgam in there and you, and you put an air compressor on there and fill this full of air and that little hole right there, mercury will come back out right there. You can do that. There's also, uh, let's see, what other methods is there? There's a, uh, the old chamois method. You can put it inside of a chamois and you squeeze it out. You can use a syringe. You take a syringe and you put a little bit of cotton right here and then put the mercury in there and then you can squeeze that out and squeeze all the mercury back out. So what I'm gonna do since it's just this little bit, you've also got what's called nitric acid and you've also got uh, someplace here I have muriatic acid, which is basically pool acid. So. Like I said, I'm in a nice air-conditioned room, fan blown, but this still should all be done outside. Fill your pan with a little bit of 
I'm just using muriatic acid. So wear gloves and a face mask and coverings. You don't want to breathe this stuff. This stuff is bad to breathe. Let me throw this out of the way. There's a couple of retorts there to utilize. So what I did is I put me a little bit of uh, the uh, muriatic acid in a pan right there. You should have lots of gold pans around. Now this water here, I want to dump this water out. Whew, man, I just got a whiff of that stuff. This should all be done outside. But anyway, so now there's my amalgam right there. I'm going to drop this amalgam into right there. Okay. This isn't as strong as the uh, nitric acid, but it'll still do the trick. So let this sit overnight, come back and check it tomorrow and I'll show you what this is like the next day. But just let that sit right now, then I'll show you how we're gonna get rid of that. But just kind of put that on an edge. Let that sit, ooh, I got another blast of them fumes. Like I said, do this outside. Another cool stuff you'll always probably wanna get, you really don't need syringes, pennies. Collect pennies, you want cotton balls, you may not really need them, but pennies, you'll want pennies, and what you'll want is the wheat pennies. Wheat pennies were more uh, copper. Collect wheat pennies, pennies that are not wheat, just, they're kind of cool to use still, but you really don't need them. Uh, you can use them if you need to, but wheat pennies, copper. You know why the old timers use copper? So there's a copper gold pan. Uh, mercury will stick to copper. Here's a copper gold pan. One day what I did is I put some gold in here because it sticks to the copper. This is all gold. Then what I did is I put in some nitric to uh, get rid of all of the, uh, the mercury in there. And you know what happened? Yeah, it ate a hole right through the copper gold pan. That nitric is some powerful stuff. I did not know that at the time. But that's all gold, and one day I could probably cut that up and remeld it down and get the gold out of there. But uh, so you don't use copper and nitric. That's what happens. But anyway, the old timers they used uh, copper gold pans to uh, with, when they played with mercury. They put copper on the uh, stamp mills, so as it came out over the stamp mill, it'd go over these copper plates, and they would put the mercury on these copper plates. So. Mercury will stick to copper, and gold will stick to mercury. That's what coppers, they use copper gold pans for. It won't hurt that at all. You know, just to give you an idea, this is a metal gold pan. If you look really close to this metal gold pan, I don't know if you can see that, but you'll see these rings going around here. Uh, let's see if I can get close enough in there to show you. I can't, can I? Uh, maybe you see it there a little bit. See those rings? This is spun metal. That means this is not an old gold pan. Sometimes people will try to sell you an old antique gold pan. But if you look really close and you see those rings, it's not old because it's spun. Antique gold pans, the authentic gold pans, were not spun. They were pressed. See, here's an old metal gold pan. But if you look, let's see if you... See, you can see the line right there where it's been spun. Sometimes they're harder to see once they rust up, but if you scrape this down, you should be able to see the uh, see the lines that spun. That's how you can tell if it's a really, a really old gold pan or not. Here's the mercury that was in my sniffer bottle, and you can see how it's kind of hardened. It's really not liquid anymore. That means there's a lot of gold in there. It's starting to turn amalgam. Once that gets so big, full of gold, that's what you'll want to try to put in a retort or a mercury press or something else. But that's all full of gold right there. You know, you used to take, I don't know how many of you used to go to school and play with mercury all the time. You take it, you, you shine up, you know, like you take some old pennies, you know, and you used to could take it and shine up your pennies with it dime, stuff like that, make it nice and shiny. How many of you guys used to do that? Put it in your pocket, you, you take it to school and then you get it out 
and you just lay it on the table and there's a bazillion BBs all over and you're hurrying trying to capture and keep all those BBs from going all over the floor. How many of you end up in the emergency room because of that? It's like a nice piece of gold. Anyways, that's up. Uh, I keep adding a little bit of gold to that. Maybe I ought to dump that in the nitrate too, huh? Nah, that's too much. That's too much. You know, you should never play. I'm going to repeat that. You should never play with mercury and chemicals at all. It's very bad for you. Remember that it's very, very bad for you. If you do ever play with mercury or chemicals, do it outside. <laughs> yeah. I've only had mercury poison one time. Uh, yeah, but it's okay. I'm still here. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, just make sure you do it outside. I'm, I'm letting that stuff soak a while there, and I want to take a look at it here in a little bit of that little bit of mercury that I put in that muriatic acid. I'm just going to see what it does. Then I'm going to go outside with that nitric. That nitric stuff is definitely nothing you want to mess around with. I repeat, that nitric is nothing you want to mess around with. You can get the acids from a, a pool, so you can get muriatic acid from a hardware store. Most hardware stores sell that. The nitric, you have to get more from a chemical company. You can actually probably buy that on eBay, nitric acid. But anyways, use it outside, definitely. Some people use it to clean their driveways. You know, if you got a lot of crap on your driveways, you can put on your driveways and use a wooden broom bristles and, and help clean up your driveway probably don't let the city see you do that though they probably frown on that you putting all them chemicals down in the drain i shouldn't be telling you guys all this stuff huh uh anyway let's go see what that mercury's doing over there is it turning more yellow color that means that the mercury is being dissolved into the solution and that button of gold or that gold i got it's starting to appear more and more. So the mercury is being melted. Woo, I got another uh, burst of fuse. This should probably should even be uh, brought outside too. Uh, yeah, you don't want to burn your lungs up and burn your nostrils up with this stuff. I thought I was in a well-ventilated area here with the fans blowing on me and everything, but uh, chemicals need to be done outside, guys. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit there for a few hours and then I'll come back later on and check that and see what it looks like. Now this gold pan right here, this is a real authentic gold pan. You'll see no spun in there. That's just all one solid piece. All right, let's check how we're doing over here. See how brown that's getting? You don't want to sniff that. Keep that way away from you. That's dangerous. When you get in close, hold your breath. <laughs> that's mercury being absorbed into that. So you can keep that in angle still. Let that go a few more hours and I'll check on it again. Here's a point to keep in mind. This here, mercury, you can still get mercury poison right here just like that. You don't necessarily have to burn it off to get mercury poison. The vapors are still coming off of this mercury just the same as if you burn it off. It's nice and brown, ain't it? Still not quite off there. I'll let that sit a little bit longer. I have to maybe let that sit overnight. Got this little bit of mercury there. There's some amalgam coming up in there. See, that's amalgam right there. That's still raw mercury. I'm going to add a little more gold to there. This right here I'm going to add in. That the gold is gone. Already got sucked into that mercury. More gold into there. Once that's all amalgamized, it'll become hard. 
and it just you'll know when it's time but right now it's still soft so it could still you could go ahead and burn it off right now or or uh you know put in a retort or something right now but it could still hold a lot more gold i gotta find more gold to put in there <laughs> try stuff try to keep a lot of extra gold pans around and vials and bottles and make sure you have your gloves because you're not going to need gloves face mask you should wear face mask protection you should wear that anywhere make sure you have a lot of gold pans because you're going to need them to keep switching back and forth and always 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 when you're done playing with this got mercury in it make sure you rinse that pan out good with water yeah that's all amalgam that's all full of gold right there <laughs> Look at this here, right there. See that right there? You can just reach it. You can just feel. Right, that is a nice size nugget right there. That is a nice size nugget that's adhered to the mercury. That's amalgam. There's another. Look at that. I scraped off. That's amalgam, that's a piece of gold right there too. Help it stick it in there, get it stuck in there. I gotta go wash my hands. Wash your hands, wear gloves, wear gloves! <laughs> you know, mercury's really not gonna kill you. It might not make you live any longer, but it definitely, I don't think will kill you. Well, I guess it could kill you. You guys heard of all the old stories about like, uh, uh, you know, dreamy draws and the mad hatters. You know, the old timers, what they used to do with the mercury, they take mercury and they would coat the brims of their hats and that would keep it nice and soft. Well, that also put them into la la land and that created, you know, dreamy draws and stuff like that. So uh, it can be dangerous. So, <laughs> uh, I've been playing with mercury, I don't know, for probably 20 years at least. And I'm still here. You know, I'm losing some of my hair, it's coming out, and and uh, my eyes are going bad all the time, it seems like, but other than that, everything seems to be fine with me. I don't have any problem at all playing with mercury. There's nothing wrong with mercury at all. Well, let's see how it's doing. Look, it's getting nice and dark, ain't it? Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. Pretty well separated, ain't it? There's still some mercury on there, but that's pretty well is uh, separated off of that. You can let it sit there longer. Continue on there, but I'm gonna show you something here now. We'll just go with that for right now. You got pennies. These are, uh, find your uh, wheat pennies. There's a wheat penny. I'm just gonna throw in one wheat penny. Right there, I'm gonna throw a wheat penny in there. Now we'll look at this. You saw what that looked like? That's coated with mercury. Oh, man, I gotta do this outside. That's I got sucked by the fumes. You find some wheat pennies here. Uh, is that a weedy? Weedy and a weedy. Two wheat pennies right here. Okay. Oh, what they look like. Look at that. The wheat pennies are coated with mercury. They sucked up the mercury that was in solution. I'm going to take this outside and run some water over it right now. Outside. Look how good those look. Them pennies all coated in mercury. Let me add some water in here right now. Or I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna get in trouble for this one. I'm gonna dump all this out of there. Yeah. All right, so look at that. There's my pennies. See that? They're all coated in mercury. They absorbed all of the mercury that was in solution. The 
my gold is stuck to that. There's a piece of gold right there. If you keep doing this and getting pennies, just keep these pennies off to the side. That's one way to kind of get back a lot of your mercury. So set these aside when you get enough of these. Burn this off. <laughs> mercury coated pennies. <laughs> yeah. Of course, the gold. That's the gold. It still has, you can almost see a little bit of whitish tint, but it's still there. It's, it's, it's grouped more together. That's several pieces right there. It's a lot of you know, hooked together because it's amalgam still. Some of these are, but anyway, there's the gold. I definitely want to do this outside. This is nitric acid. Pour a little bit into there. Probably more than what I needed. You can see it bubbling. Those are fumes you don't want to inhale. Eating all the garbage away. Whew, stand down wind. Let that just burn off. Don't breathe that in. Wear a mask. Stay downwind. Do not breathe that stuff in. That stuff will choke your lungs out like you wouldn't believe. It's bad stuff. Bad, bad, bad stuff. Let it go till it's just not smoking anymore. All right, I'm going to turn on some water now. Good thing I live in uh, California. If the EPA people are coming after me, I'm in California, Northern California. I can give you my address if you want it, but I'm, I'm in California. I want to rinse all of this off here. Get rid of the nitric there. All right, let's take this back inside and see what we got. See that nitric on your fingers, it will turn them orange. But if you do get it on you, you want to hurry and wash it off really quick before it eats through the bone. No, it's not that bad, but it will turn your fingers and that all orange if you get any of the nitric on you. So there's your gold. It's all the gold. There's no more uh, mercury on it. It all came back. Uh, it's kind of spongy though it's kind of ugly looking what you could do at this point take all of this gold out of here and put it in a very mild solution maybe like vinegar white vinegar because it's a mild acidy to help maybe clean this up but it's all the gold that was in the mercury right there just keep setting this aside and eventually what you can do is you'll just melt all of this here and you'll pour yourself some nice gold bars of gold. That's the best stuff to do with all this fine gold. Make an awesome gold bar out of it. Whatever you guys do with playing with mercury or chemicals, just be safe. Do it outdoors. And, uh, whew, anyways. So generally sometimes what I'll do, if I get a lot of fine, fine gold, I'll pick out what I can pick out in my gold pan or my concentrates and all that fine gold sometimes in the black sand, I'll just store it up maybe in sniffer bottles like this here. And when I get so much of it, then what I'll do is I'll throw in a little bit of mercury in here and just uh, let that keep turning. When it, once it turns amalgam, then I gotta do something with it. And there's several different methods you can do to uh, get the gold out. 
of that fine black sand. Oh, well, I don't know if you learned anything about mercury or not, but hey, if it's the last video I bring you guys, it's because, uh, well, it got to me one way or another. But uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, you guys, hey, do it outdoors, be safe. You know, mercury is not as bad as they claim it is. You just gotta be safe in chemicals, like anything. Be safe, wear some masks, huh? <laughs> Anyways, hey, you guys all take care. I appreciate you guys coming along on these adventures. I sure love bringing them to you. So give me a thumbs up. Tell me what you guys think, comment, good or bad. You know, did you learn anything, you hate it? What do you guys wanna know next? What do you guys wanna learn about? Tell me what you want to learn about, where to find gold, where to find treasures, how to research, whatever. Let me know. Anyways, thank you guys for coming along. We sure appreciate. So until our paths cross again, <coughs> you guys all be safe out there. See you later.